over the last few six months or so, we've been collecting all of the sort of horror stories and all of the difficulties we've had explaining what we do to other people in our organization, and we try to boil it down to one piece of A4, uh, one sheet of A4 that we can hand out and say, read this before you come to us. And there's basically three messages. One is embrace granularity. By this I mean, if you're rendering something on the client side rather than preparing it as a static image and then serving it, um, suddenly you, you create the ability to drill down um, and to do all the wonderful things that we can do online that we could never do in our legacy one-way media. But a lot of people who have not, who've not worked from in this way for a long time, this is quite a, a difficult thing to understand. For years, their job was to boil the data down into one little nugget and then present that rather than get all of it. And so that means making people understand that they need to get all the data, not just the, the top line figures. Um, and also to start asking very different questions from what certainly uh, newspaper reporters are used to asking for. They're used to asking, what's the average? What's the biggest? What's the smallest? But in fact, the new question we want them to ask is, just give me everything and I'll figure it out. Broadly, there's three types of things we do. Integrated multimedia stories, the menu and list story, which is, well, which is basically anything that has a structured content that, that's different from the blob of text we usually write. And then finally, the thing that we're most familiar with and that probably the most involved is what we might generically call a news application or data visualization. So the five essentials that we think it comes down to, just based on experience of doing this for several years and uh, things that don't work and things that do work, here are the kind of the five things we ask people to think about. A data visualization in a news context, and this is probably true of other contexts as well, needs to tell a story. This means not just hand over a huge pile of data with no context provided, something that can't be told in a simpler way. Um, often interactivity is used as a bauble that um, signals importance rather than something that's actually essential for telling a story. Use data analysis that's integral to the thing you're trying to tell. Be of lasting value. A lot of this stuff is very labor intensive and therefore thinking about it as more of a product rather than a transitory individual story is often important. Having a narrative that has both a macro and a micro view, a zoom in and zoom out type layer, ideally personalization being the zoom in layer, and uh, I, personal relevancy is a line I've stolen from Bella, I believe. Something that automates a repetitive process, something that can be uh, dynamically updated as new information becomes available. Integrate social media is kind of probably particularly important for news organizations. I'm not sure how that translates to other organizations. And also, Things beyond graphics. How can we take data inputs and generate other types of things? Uh, one, one area of interest at the moment is you know, Twitter bots, for example. There's a lot more behind that, but I don't want to take up everybody else's time. Thanks, Martin.